Esselstyn. I'm Polly Labar. And I'm Ann Esselstyn. And Polly is my daughter-in-law. My sister. <laughs> and Polly has done some great videos with us in the last uh, season, if you will. And right now, by the way, it is winter of 2021. So we're all here, tested and together and so happy. But Polly has a wonderful alliteration of a title for us. <laughs> I'm calling it a warming winter squash soup. I got it right. WWSS. Yes. And I kind of tweaked and invented this with a lot of help from my daughter's babysitter, Maria. We've been oh. making different rounds of it. And the idea was, what could we make that was nourishing and simple and invigorating and energizing all the things you need in the dark January uh, doldrums? And, and we have no idea. How. Polly has like <laughs> all these systems in place right now that we don't use usually when we cook. So she's saying it's simple and this and that, and we're and we're gripped. We're like, well, it's simple. Give us our okay, role. it's just a few. You see all the ingredients right here, plus a little miso. The main star is kabocha squash. I am a fanatic. I think this is the best tasting squash. And Polly I love is that impossible you can eat. to be with because whenever you're somewhere where there's kabocha, kabocha, kabocha squash, kabocha. she buys. All of them. I mean, I, do. I don't know I hoard where them. they I hoard, hoard them. Hoard it's them. the one thing in my garden, winter squash, that I have not been able to grow. You can use other squash if you like. If you like a red curry or you like a coconut, which is a new kind of squash that's... Uh, Say that again. Coconut. Coconut. Uh, Dan Barber, the guy from um, Stone Barns, has mm -hmm. a new seed uh, company, and they have crossbred kabocha and butternut squash. Oh. And I got a few, but I still, this is still my favorite. So how many of those would you need to equal one of these? Well, you can put both in. I wouldn't do the whole soup with this. Oh. I just think the flavor, and, and if you can ha use a squash that has skin on uh, qualities, and that would be the coconut, that would be this. What else can you use with, this, with the skin on? Delicata. Delicata. Yeah, so it depends on what you like. I just think the nuttiness of this really contrib contributes to this soup. Then we're going with fresh ginger. I get this ginger from my farmer's market. It's so you can see it hasn't cured yet. It so it almost looks like albino ginger. Isn't it awesome? Wait, can we get a close up on that? Look at that. Look yeah. At that. So that's fresh ginger. And what I, I love this my my ginger, which is like what I love about this ginger is you don't really have to do anything. You obviously don't have to peel it. It it this is uh, like a different it grates and uh, slices up so nicely and the flavor is wonderful. So we're gonna grate that. I've already grated the ginger. And then turmeric, you know, looks like little crazy knobs. Sticks. Uh, yeah. And so I've grated up a bunch of fresh turmeric, and you can see my fingers are yellow from that. Look at that. Look at, yeah. her, look at her nails. <laughs> so oh. great. All right. So we have squash. We have fresh ginger. We have fresh turmeric. We have bok choy. And we have Napa cabbage. And then miso. And those are the ingredients. Okay. Wow. So this soup. Those are soup powerful ingredients for good Aren't health. They? Aren't they? Oh, yeah. Woo! I will say I've tried this with a bunch of different squashes, as I said, different greens, but I decided not to use kale because I use kale All every which time. way to Sunday, yeah. every single day, every single week. And I love the crispiness and the different textures that you get from these. So follow along if you want to throw in peas or you want to throw in kale or you want to throw in collards. This soup is completely fungible. The only thing you really have to have is a squash ginger and turmeric now, so fungible sounds a little like fungus so can we define fungible <laughs> meaning you can swap things out in and out it's very easy so fungible was like this yes <laughs> our spots the are physical now, I am, now right. i am in charge right. no we're going to get to work now <laughs> my goodness okay so the first thing that we're going to do is what i usually do this is this is sort of a um prep and coordination intensive recipe but not a complicated recipe if that makes sense we are your soldiers all right first two things we're going to do is we're going to come on over wait if you'll come on over jane and ann can you get the grated you know maybe uh yeah get the grated uh turmeric and ginger and we'll show people how we do that after i'm going to get two things going in your biggest steamer pot if you, this is just a pasta pot uh, with an insert. So if you have something like that, I'm throwing um, a few thumb length uh, ginger and turmeric uh, oh, whole. Can we get a picture of them in the take, water? Yeah. And this was Maria's idea, which was wow. you can infuse the vegetables because we're going to steam the vegetables with the ginger turmeric flavor and while they're color. steaming. Okay. Then the same thing we're going to, um, I want to get this going on your stove. Oh, hi. 
we're going to throw in three tablespoons each of grated fresh turmeric. Where are you going, Anne? And She'll measure. Uh, I already measured. This is oh. measured. And uh, grated ginger. Just throw it in here. We're going to, this is the base for the soup. We're going to simmer this for about 15 minutes while we finish our prep. All right, so Should that's going to that get going. Just let it, let it go. Just let, let it go. Let that simmer. And we're going to cover this because we're going to start to steam some vegetables in that. Now let's go back to our prep. Uh, do you think we want to show people how to grate the ginger and the turmeric? A wee bit, a wee bit, a quick wee bit. Super easy with this, with this fresh stuff. I just use a microplaner or even a box grater. Boom, 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 boom. So easy to do. And then same thing with the turmeric. I do peel the turmeric because it can be like sort of a nasty root with dirt on it. So you might want to, then you get your but yellow you know fingers. What? That turmeric is amazing the oh way my gosh. It, it, yeah. you get Look at that. And the smell, you're already getting the aroma. So this soup is like the aroma is feels wow. healing. And, 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 and as you see, Polly, you're also all, always yeah. turning yellow. And I will say this soup is so... I'm going to add this to here. Yeah, <laughs> we don't want to waste it. I've been eating this soup for breakfast, lunch, and dinner lately. It's, it's my new favorite. All right, we're gonna get started on prep. The veg is really easy. I've started to chop up roughly some bok choy. If you would just do the rest and then we're gonna wash it. Jane's gonna roughly chop, you know, roughly, roughly the chop. Whole, the whole thing? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll use, we might not use the whole thing. In the recipe for this with one kabocha squash, this is kind of a big kabocha squash, I use about four to six of these baby bok choys. If you only have big bok choy, use three to five. You know, you can you can figure that out. Depending on how big your Napa cabbage is, because sometimes they come enormous. Yeah, they're like small children. <laughs> right. So um, use half or use a whole. This one will probably I, use three quarters. Can I put it in half and then do it? Because it's You can do it however you want wheel, to. Wheel, Again, wheel. this recipe should be. It's fungible. It's fungible. Okay, <laughs> carving the kabocha. This is not gonna be pretty, guys. And we'll try not to lose a finger. Polly is inordinately strong. <laughs> What's happening over there? So that she can wrestle her yeah. kabochas to the ground. I'll get this started, and then we won't bore you with the entire details. But okay, I need a spoon. Right, like in, front of you, nice... right in front of you here. Okay. So this is how I do this. I just spoon out, spoon out the seeds. Is this, is this too small? I'm surprised you don't. I do it a little bigger. I, li I like a big toothsome kind of rough chop. Like linguine-ish? Yeah. Is it like linguine or bigger, yeah. Even big, even bigger, I think. For the Napa cabbage, I do I do half an inch to an inch. Oh, okay. I'm getting bigger as I get Yeah, there go. you go. How about on this? Should I cut this in? No, see more? how I have it? No, that's probably too small of a chop. I should have said that. I think a rough chop is nice for these in the... Oh, so dear. do I put this okay. in the pot already? Nope, not yet. We're going to go squash first. Okay, I just want to show them how to cut the squash and then we'll maybe we'll speed it up. So the way that I do this, again, the sli slices, and we can, we can share more details in the um, show notes because this is a made up recipe. It's not in any book as yet. But so uh, I just like to do um, little like half inch to quarter inch slices. That's probably almost too thick. Wow. Um, but it, you know, it, this is hard to work with, so it really depends on your knife and how, like this is an ideal. And so I'll just go through this whole squash, get that ready, and then we'll, we'll once all the veggies are prepped, we'll get on to the next step. So we'll do our jumping jacks and get this going. <laughs> I have a quick question before we do that, actually. Um, sometimes when we've been working with uh, butternut squashes and things, people have said like, I like to microwave mine for just a minute or two to get a little bit softer, so it's a little safer. But if um, have you ever done that? You don't have a microwave. No, no we have a microwave, but that yes, that rings of sacrilege yeah. to me. Okay, I, 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 could, I could hear as I was saying it. I was like, oh, this is no. We are going to steam the ever living guts out of this squash because we want it almost falling apart. Um, so we're going to just get these slices going, and then we're going to do a big steam batch steam job before we assemble the soup. Mm -hmm. I love this sort of motion. I mean, that is mm -hmm. really cool. Mm -hmm. did, you, did you invent that? <laughs> um, Necessity. <laughs> I think that's just my style. You know, <laughs> other people may have a different style. Because <clears throat> I find, you know, it's, you gotta be careful. You don't wanna get your fingers. I wasn't even doing the right, you know, 
hold your fingers back, right? Would, would this recipe take this whole squash? I'm, we're going to steam this whole squash, so maybe I'm, Jane's I'm, going I'm, I'm to get going. That's why I'm trying to get Let this. Let me get this out of your way. And we'll oh, I, I, it's all right. You're good? I, I, I was, you keep, you, you're doing the big work. You do you. <laughs> you do you. Yeah. So one of the inspirations behind this soup was, um, I, I was reading this book about Chinese medicine and the five seasons and, you know, moving from fall to winter, you're moving from yan to yin, and what what is energizing but also also nourishing. And miso, which figures into this soup, is, you know, alkalizing and nourishing and immune boosting. So... Oh, should I get the six tablespoons of that going or do you want to wait? Well, let's wait. Okay. All right, so this can go over there just to wait. Yeah, those good. are all going to go over to the steaming central because we're going to do a batch steaming of all the vegetables. So is this soup smooth or is it rough? <laughs> rough? <I> mean, <laughs> is it pureed or is it chunky? <laughs> well, I'm going to try to be like Polly. <laughs> uh, this soup is... Um, not pureed the whole oh, yeah. um, i love that you have the Chunky. chunk chunks yeah. of vegetables and um my husband zeb your son uh loves it as it coalesces over time because what happens is this which is super hard right now uh first it gets steamed then it gets cooked and then the flesh of it starts to integrate with the broth oh, yeah. and it becomes nice. just delicious oh i can hardly Wait for the final product. You know what? Well, okay. We'll just get this done. I was thinking we could throw some in the steamer. And why don't you maybe do that? Just pick it up and... Five second roll. It's oh going to get steamed anyway. I throw a layer. So what, what Anne's going to do right now is she's going to throw the first layer of squash into the steamer. I do this in batches because you can't put everything in at once. Um, that might be too much, Anne. No, what? that's good. We can do a whole another handful. So we're going to... Polly, is this one okay? That's perfect. So we're going to put the top on that. Oh, it smells so good over here, guys. Oh, with the, with the ginger and the turmeric? Ginger and turmeric central over here. It's so I hard to put the extra t R in the turmeric. I always say turmeric, but it's turmeric. Turmeric. So we're going to batch steam this. And on the kabocha squash... Last time I made this, I didn't steam it as much as I could have. You want it almost like when you when you pick it out of the steamer, kind of falling apart. You want it that cooked, uh, and you'll it, it'll just integrate with the soup better if we do it that way. This knife that you gave us is so it's much a better sharp. knife, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! I mean, I know it. Let's see. Let's wash the. Uh, we haven't washed this. I, um, that was Anne too small. Really wash her that vegetables. was too small. It, it's okay. It's fine. You, and you didn't finish your job. Well, I, that seems like a lot. <laughs> well, we're gonna use it all. You wanna, you wanna just chop that up while we're. Wow. <laughs> Woo! We're working for this soup. <laughs> I mean, this is like half. I made this soup for the half Esselstyn Thanksgiving. Oh yeah. Oh, I saw you. Oh yes, I that. heard that it was a yes. smash. Well, you know what? There was so much else that was good that I think it was almost like. It was almost like um, a palate cleanser the next day. It mostly got eaten as leftovers rather than uh -huh. on Thanksgiving. Uh, Don't let this be prohibitive, this difficulty <laughs> job. Because I think it's really worth it, but it is. It is gold in this mine of... Uh, Thank you. Kabo 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 kabocha. Kabo kabocha. Sounds so much like kombucha. Okay, now I can't say the other one. What do, people, what do people drink these days? Kombucha. Kombucha. Kombucha, kabocha. Yeah, oh. this is great. And the veggie, again, you can roughly chop. It doesn't really matter what it, it looks so like. Hard that little piece. Yeah, it's fine. So now the kabocha squash is like falling apart steamed, which is exactly Ooh. how I want it. And you might want to just, I eat this stuff by the pound. Um, so we're just, we're just taking it out of the steamer and we're going to throw in the next batch. And actually what I'm going to... What if you just add it out? Yeah, let's add out. a little more water. Wade, do you want to look and show them what this water looks like? It's just 
It's just delicious. It's just completely infused with ginger and turmeric. And the other thing that you can see right next to it, this we're basically making broth for the soup. And the broth is water, ginger, and turmeric. You want to throw that out? That's how much yeah, you want. That's perfect. Okay, we got to get that boiling again. And we're going to throw in the next batch. It's a little time consuming on steaming, but it's really worth it. Do you put it in before it Throw steams? it all in, yeah. Oh, there's a yummy chunk. I want to try it. Try it. Jane, wait until you try it. You can. Oh the my gosh. Skin Isn't that delicious? Tastes wait. just like the squash. Wait, it's like. um. Oh, this, this, I'm sorry. The skin. Um, I was stunned by how. What is it? Hey, what does it taste it's like? Nutty. It's nutty. It's nutty and. Wait, look. Got a little please. ginger turmeric. The skin. Okay. It's just as good. Mm -hmm. We're eating the hide. And look at the colors. I mean, the colors are just. The We're best. not going to have any mm. soup left. Wow. So the soup. Oh, There's wow. orange and green. And that is really good. <laughs> once we get once we get the squash all steamed, we're gonna throw the napa cabbage and the bok choy into the same steamer just to wilt it. We barely even uh, need to steam it, and maybe we'll, we we'll save time and not. And then no, we're gonna throw it into the the pot, the soup pot. Yeah. Wow, look at oh, this! Look, is so yummy. I just want to lick, lick, lick the handle part. I know, and and try not to eat all the squash while you're waiting. All right, we're okay. we're in the home stretch, so we're taking out the rest of the squash. And in fact, I might oh. just oh, um, is it is it is it it's done? Oh, it's so great. Okay, Ooh. so we're taking out the rest of the squash. Now, let me in. You let I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, which is oh, I should turn it off or no? No, keep going. Oh, good. I'm gonna throw in the bok choy. Now, you can skip this step and go right to assembling the soup. I like to get it a little bit wilted, uh, but we are going to skip the step of putting the Napa cabbage in the steamer. So we're going to start to assemble the soup. Uh, so you can see we've got this broth going right here with the ginger and the turmeric. The next thing we're going to do, ow, that's hot, is we're going to throw not all of this, but a good bunch of it and especially all the yummy little pieces that have fallen apart because those oh so we could have been snacking on little bits of it I was, please oh. snack eat as much as you want <laughs> i make this much because having this in the fridge in a tupperware having all this mm. squash uh, Georgie, my daughter, will eat it. We'll put it in her lunchbox. You can make another dinner with it. Put what it over it rice. What does like? It tastes like something. You mean you put a piece right like that in her lunch? Oh sure. She, she just eats this by the pound, too. So you can see, I'm going to put some more in. I mean, I might end up using quite a bit of this. It's you like can eyeball it. It's like pumpkin meets, I didn't even, not even pumpkin. It's like hummus. I, I, I don't know, how, how do you? It has a very different quality uh -huh. than other squashes. It does it, it's almost less vegetal and more, more grainy and nutty. Nutty, yeah. Mm -hmm. It's fungible. No. <laughs> OK, so I'm I've used, what have I used, like two thirds of this guy? I could probably use more. Now, see all this stuff that's almost turned into like a paste? Mm. This becomes the th thick broth. Okay, let's let's stop there. Here, here's some thick okay. stuff. Why don't you, this is good. Let's, let's take that away. I'm going to throw in some Napa cabbage. If you can hand me, the, how's this doing? This is fine. We can just turn this off. Uh, let's just throw this in. So again, let's take like half of it. Throw it in. Again, this is sort of an eyeball situation. I think half of the ca Napa cabbage will work. And then, Jane, can you throw in the bok choy? Yep. Get a spoon, give it a stir. The one thing you have to know about this recipe is you can see from my fingers, don't cook this in a white shirt or sweater. No. And realize that your cutting board and your spoon and probably your metal grater will turn no. yellow forever. But it's good memories. All right. So that's good. That's good. We, we probably have more uh, vegetable matter and we might want to add water. I neglected to say uh, at the beginning that this is 12 cups of water. So what mm -hmm. I have is 12 cups of water um, simmering with three tablespoons each of fresh ginger and fresh turmeric. That's the broth. So this is basically the soup. There's one more step. Here's one more cup of water. Do. You want one more cup of water? Let's think? throw one or two more cups of water in there. Yeah. Okay, throw that in there. Um, great. Okay, we can move this out of the way. And our final step is a fun one. Let's see. 
Holly, shall I just put the rest of this in? There's not very much. Sure. We're adding all the rest of the bok choy. Anne always adds everything she can. Everything she can. Okay, here we go. Unlike Brian, who leaves half of okay. everything in his now mouth, I'm gonna, just the right part. Yeah. So now I'm just going to dip out, oh, let's say, cup, cup and a half, try not to get any, of the broth. Then we're going to take six tablespoons of miso. So the miso on this, you can use, um, I'm using... Sweet white. Sweet white miso. I actually tend to use, um, there's a kind of miso, miso called Kyoto Shiro miso, which you will like because it has much less sodium That's, oh. than, than most misos because they use a higher proportion of the koji white rice to the soybeans. How many did I do? Two? Three? Uh, but you can use chickpea miso, you can use mellow white miso, four, and you can use sweet Sweet white miso, five, six. Mm. You were missing. You know, you were missing a lobe of it last time, so maybe you should go with that six. Well, actually, yeah, and and it's a little bit personal how much you like mm -hmm. miso, the miso yeah. flavor. I did this with one. I'm going to use a fork. This is my way. I make a slurry. I I did uh, one tablespoon per cup of water, and it was not good. <laughs> it so, is very personal. Actually, yeah. Someone brought, brought me some miso soup one time. Um, and she was like, oh, I just love this. And she was eating it and she was drinking it. And I, I, I have to wait till things cool down because my tender palate. I took a bite of it and I felt like it was on a magic trick. I was, I was like, <laughs> there was so much salt. Yeah. Like everything in me just like went to powder. Right. And I was like, how can she be drinking this and eating this? And yeah. I, I couldn't have a second bite. One note about miso is you never want to boil it. So this is why we do this as the last step. The soup is. I did not know that. Why don't we? Well, don't you don't want to boil it because it, this is a fermented food, and and the enzymes and the bacteria boil away. The aromatic quality boils away. Oh. So when you're reheating the soup, when you're making it at or this point on, it at the end of whatever. You're yeah. Making. Or but then you're gonna re when you reheat it, just make sure it never it never boils. Just get it simmering. Okay, so you can see that that's all dissolved. Now we have our miso slurry. Miso slurry. And we're gonna, th miso slurry. We're gonna throw this in here. Okay, oh, well, I hadn't had it completely <laughs> organized, but that's okay. And then we're gonna give it a good stir. Give the and slur a good stir. You start to see what these beautiful colors. Again, simple. Simple soup with quite a bit of prep, but I promise you the prep's worth it. Uh, so, if we ate this right now, it would be absolutely delicious. Uh -huh. But what I tend to do is make this soup, say, in the morning or early afternoon, if I'm going to serve it for dinner, and I get it to this point, then I put it, the cover of the Dutch oven on it, and I mm -hmm. let it sit on the stovetop for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, and while then, cooking or just sitting there? Just sitting there. Off The, the stove is off. What if we put it into the uh, Wonder Bag? It would just stay nice and warm. Yes, and the point is, by the time that you eat it, the a lot of the squash has disintegrated and, and integrated into the broth, so it's a much thicker so, Paul, broth. When, when, when you serve somebody a hunk in your bowl and they get a whole half of a squash, you just put that right in their bowl. Absolutely, and it looks beautiful. And it's so uh, delicate and no, steamed it's, and, and it's cooked. So, but it's it'll so fall, bold. Yeah, it'll it's fall so apart. Bold. That's why I like to do the half moons rather than chopped up because it's, again, it's a different look. It's just I think it looks beautiful in a bowl. So I'm actually that. getting bowls out here if we're really going to taste it because I want to give it a. But again, I don't think it's it's best until it's. It sits for a little while. Mm, okay. What do you think? Oh, I'd love to good. just try. Can we just try it though? Yeah, I should try it. Mm. Can we just spoon? Get Here's our. Are we out of spoons? We have, <laughs> we have lots of spoons. I'll just try this. I'm bringing our bowls over. Oh, well, so you're getting, right now you're getting all the ginger and the turmeric, and it will start to get creamier with the squash as you let it. Mm. Yum. Do I just do this? Or? Sure. Could we put it in here? All right, I want you to serve because I don't really know how to approach it. Okay. It's got like, I've got like, 
Okay, I have a shark fin coming out, it looks like. It's yeah, it's not quite it's not quite where I would like to serve it, but we're gonna we're gonna go for it. I was dying to taste it. Yeah. I mean in a way this is almost the super clean version. I mean look at that. That just looks like health mm. incarnate. <laughs> right, the gonna... other thing the other thing that I do, so you know that we put it we set aside some of the kabocha that we didn't sort of fit in. Mm -hmm. I might even put I'm looking at it now, I might put the rest in. Or the next day, I might add a few more yeah, cups of water and then add any other vegetables that I have left over and throw them in. I would love to know what other veggies and what other combinations other people would try with this. I, I experimented and this is what you I came up with. You put peas in? I tried peas because they're kind of sweet yeah. and that's kind of a neat... Um, I tried... Uh, I wanted to try different colors, so you could, you, if you do a beet, it bleeds, but like a watermelon radish or something, mm -hmm. but that's, wasn't the right texture. One, one more? One more for Wade. Can't forget Wade. No, wait, Wade's, Wade's Wade, I don't know if this is going to be spicy enough for you. <laughs> oh, no. No, it looks great. <laughs> this is the cleansing post-holiday, post-overindulging uh, January doldrum soup. Oh, look what Jane did. I put, Pretty. A little, put a little fin in any of them because I don't want to have a shark fin. I want to have a kombucha fin. Okay. Oh, <laughs> oh that one didn't have much soup. That one just, oh. just has oh. skin. <laughs> oh, here. No, that's got more of a hunk. Okay. okay. Wow. So, Polly, the star soup is going to stay on our stove apparently till tonight. Until we, until we want to eat it for, for dinner. So, we'll just literally put the, put the nice, heavy top on it. Turn it off. Wow. And when we come back, give it a whirl. It'll, It'll be, be creamy, creamy and, and delicious. But can we try it right now at yes. this stage? Let's you know, it's quick. still good. We've been hearing about this for months, and I can't believe the time has come <laughs> to have our own bowl. Yeah. You want some hot sauce on yours? Oh, no, gosh, it's the ginger. Mm-hmm. Mm. Wow. And fresh turmeric. Mm. Hmm. Needless to say, this has all those immune healing mm -hmm. properties you could ever. So it's mellow right now. I'm glad I'm trying it now because it feels mellow. Mm -hmm. Or not, um, you know. It feels more like a clear broth, uh -huh. and it's gonna, it's going to become. And much some of the and that plate was totally different. And the greens are gonna um, get softer. Lost a little bit more. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Mm hmm. Well, thank you, Polly, for our. Warming winter squash soup. <laughs> oh my gosh. Well, and we have extra kombucha and extra kombucha, but that's okay. No, I want to say right. We act, we practice, we even had Google teach us how to say it. Mm -hmm. um, but thank you so much. Mm. Everything you bring to um, our channel is unique, here is unique and delicious. But just so, so, so nutrient dense and like authentic. This is, I feel like we're eating. Literally whole food. <laughs> this is great for breakfast. Oh. <laughs> that's what I've been eating that's, for. Oh, I, that's my jam. Savory right. breakfast. Cheers. Like Polly asked, what are you going to put in your kombucha? Your winter. <laughs> <laughs> your warming winter squash soup. Tell us what squash you like. Tell us what vegetables you use. Throw them in the comments. And in the show notes, we'll give you all the information. Pa yes. Polly. Pa Polly will give you the information. It's amazing. She's Just the broth is so good. Mm -hmm. All right. Cheers. Thanks. Bye-bye.